I know EA is not gonna learn from their mistakes because it seems like every Battlefield game launches in a terrible state. They need to spend a year and a half fixing it up and once they do, it gets in a great position and then they move on to the next game. And then the cycle continues. For, let me rephrase this so I can make a, a good video intro here. This is the death of Battlefield 2042. No, actually it is though. This actually is the death of Battlefield 2042. Uh, yeah, this was just released 12 hours ago from the time of recording this live stream. An update on Battlefield 2042 and the welcoming of Motive Studio to the team. If you're gonna title your blog an update on the game, you know it's not gonna be good. And then right below that image, it just says Battlefield. They got rid of like the 2042 to marketing and stuff like that you know what's happening but like this was going to happen anyways though season seven of battlefield 2042 slaps okay i won't don't tell me any otherwise i've been playing it it's been a lot of fun the new map is based in chile uh haven feels like a battlefield bad company 2 map it's so it has so much destruction urban combat with a little bit of natural combat mixing you got some vehicle, but it's very gunplay focused. Like it's a great map. I love Haven. It's such a good map. And you have so much more fun with the destruction in the game as well. Like it actually has destruction compared to most of Battlefield 2042. It doesn't really have any destruction. I'm surprised that Battlefield 2042 has made it this long. Uh, I thought like after season four, like they were going to call it, or even season three, I thought they were going to call it quits. When season four came out, I'm like, okay, they're doing right. Season five, I'm like, they're still going. Season six, I'm like, is this just going to keep on going? And season seven, I'm like, okay. This is kind of crazy, right? This is where the meat and potatoes is right here. This is what we have enjoyed and are proud of creating the seasons of additional content for Battlefield 2042. It is now necessary for us to turn from the present to the future. What this ultimately means is that season seven will serve as the final season of Battlefield 2042 after season seven concludes. We will continue to support the game with new in-game challenges, events, modes, and of course, ongoing maintenance. But we are moving away from delivering official seasons. As a Halo player, this sounds very familiar. But we knew that this was going to happen anyways, right? Because we know that a new Battlefield game is currently in the works right now. We saw with like Ridgeline Studios headed by Marcus Leto, they're working on the next like story element of the game, but then Marcus Leto left and then like a couple days later, Ridgeline Studios got shut down. But still kind of ties into what I was talking about earlier in the stream about the game preservation as well we're like since battle 2042 is an online game like yeah the servers are going to stay up people are still gonna be able to play it but when is that end date for the servers as well or will they ever end it i don't know like you can still play battlefield 3 online right now so maybe they'll just kind of keep it running and for who wants to play it can just kind of keep on playing it i kind of want to see what this new studio is all about though to that end motive studios the talented developers known most recently for their work on a critically acclaimed remake of dead space and star wars squadrons are building a team focused on battlefield at their studio we're tremendously excited for motive as they are bringing their experience of frostbite and compelling storytelling to the fold joined by the criterion and ripple effect in building the next Battlefield universe across a connected multiplayer experience and single player. So we're still getting a campaign. We are getting a multiplayer. Actually, not still single, getting a play. We are single player. We actually are getting a single player with uh, the next Battlefield game, which is... Eh. I've, not, I've yet to play a, a single player experience with Battlefield that I'm like, oh my God, you need to play this. Like when I first heard that Battlefield 2042 was just completely cutting out the campaign, I'm like, good. Like it's always felt like the campaigns were just kind of like wasted dev time and more just kind of like a a relic of what games from their era needed to be like like back then like battlefield first came around right you needed a campaign you needed the multiplayer but nowadays you really can just get by with just multiplayer i should say when i heard that battlefield 2042 was dropping a campaign i was like great more resources to the multiplayer which is like 99 percent of the player base but of course the release of 2042 did not actually mean that it got extra polish or extra content or any benefits from that at all it was a very rough launch for that game but now battlefield 2042 is a in a great state well hopefully with these studios now in effect teaming together to make the next battlefield game we could see a more exp a enriched experience i hope but again like with ea publishing it you never know dude you never know what it actually could end up being it could just be a complete disaster it could be a complete masterpiece <laughs> it's like with ea products you just never really know until they're out and for you to play that's why like you could just just never never pre-order an ea game you just never know what it's going to be especially for like a multiplayer live service game they've yeah it's been thirsting after a solid live service game for such a long time like all they really have is like apex battlefield did all right that launch of battlefield was rough i maybe i should jump in and play the, the single players of battlefield they kind of just be like why people don't like it because <laughs> like from my experience it's just they're always super forgettable 
They're not that exciting. The characters aren't that great. Like it's, they're never bad, but they're never or like a they're never like a must play. Like when you sit down, you're like, I'll play the campaign over the multiplayer. I always think I got I'll play the multiplayer over this. So I love Battlefield. I have Battlefield three. I have Battlefield four. I have BF one. I have twenty forty two installed as well. Uh, I have Bad Company two, if I remember correctly, as well. Which I know a lot of people said that Bad Company two's campaign was great, but for when I played, it was kind of me. The end of twenty forty two, man. It sucks because it, they're in such a great state with Battlefield twenty. 2042 the game is a lot of fun if you haven't played battlefield 2042 and you love battlefield honestly jump in and play it now it's great so content coming along the way with season seven right they got a new map coming in new updates and stuff like that when it comes to like i said with accommodations and stuff like that so the game will still get support but like new seasons new content like maps and weapons just not happening anymore which we knew was going to happen right we've known that there was a battlefield game that's been in the works for years now at this point it was really just more of a matter of time of when that will actually happen uh we see this now happening with halo infinite right they are moved away from the seasonal model to content update models uh they're outsourcing their map creation now to sparasoft mainly sorry uh, sparasoft was in charge of making the dev map elevation which was a great map and now they got this new forge map coming out called corrosion which we talked about in a previous video that looks kind of mad compared to what we've had from the community but it's content. It's something new to jump in and play, right? At least we're getting that. And we do know that there is going to be an end day for Infinite's live service as well. We just don't know exactly when that's going to happen. I'm bummed because I really got back into Battlefield with Season 7. Like I said, the new map's amazing. The new guns are fun. Kind of grinding a little bit on Battlefield 2042. Having a lot of fun with it, man. I'm looking forward to the next game when it comes to Battlefield, though. Just because even though 2042 is in a great state, it just feels very put together... In, like it's very pieced together to make it feel like a coherent battlefield game what launched was just it was just weird man it was a weird game like yeah you got the class system returning but it's still kind of open-ended and they're just like there's so many like hero characters that all have their own abilities and you can mismatch about like i can't remember there's so many different characters i can't remember all of them i can't remember exactly what i'll do as a casual player so the class system returning but it's such a mess uh, but they tried the best. They did the best they could with what they had. I'm glad the class system returned, though. I'm glad they said they're bringing it back with the next Battlefield game. Like, yeah, just give me more four classes, man. That's what you need within a Battlefield game. You don't need to expand out to be like a hero shooter like they tried to do with this new game with 2042. It's like it was like a hero shooter, but not. It was still Battlefield, but didn't really feel like Battlefield. Like, yeah, you still have the large warfare and modern-ish era gameplay, but like the systems that are in that game are just really confusing to me. Like, I just want to jump in, like, which one has my paddles to revive people? How do I heal? Wait, what's a good assault rifle? What's a good way to counter a vehicle? You know, there's just a lot with that game. The maps do still feel pretty big, even after the reworks of like condensing the player base a little bit, player count, but condensing the map sound a bit more as well, creating more cover. But there's still like large areas that you just have to kind of run through open field to just get from A to B, which can be really frustrating with snipers kind of sitting back but at least in battlefield sniping you have to hit the headshot and there's a lot of bullet travel with it compared to like call of duty where it's like kind of instantaneous and really annoying i know ea is not gonna learn from their mistakes because it seems like every battlefield game launches in a terrible state they need to spend a year and a half fixing it up and once they do it gets in a great position and then they move on to the next game and the cycle continues <laughs> classic battlefield devs from like three and four are pretty much all gone at this point a lot of them end up working on the finals a lot of them have actually, or a lot of them left, left recently as well. So it's like, you see dice, but it's not the same dice you know from 10 years ago. It's a completely different company. Kind of like how Bungie is now, right? Where Bungie, you see the name, you're like, oh, Halo, that's great. But everyone who worked on Halo, well, that was part of Bungie, are all gone at this point. It's a different studio. Same kind of thing with like uh, Infinity Ward, right? Infinity Ward right now. Definitely not the same Infinity Ward that made Modern for 2 back in 2009. Completely different teams and different values and different priorities. 